Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be making a dish that's perfect for anybody who's just learning how to cook. It's for the beginner, we've all been there. Uh, and it is gonna be made in the slow cooker. Today I'll be making aloo gobi for you guys, which is basically potatoes and cauliflower. And it is gonna be cooked in a slow cooker, so it's a very, very easy process. So stay tuned with me and let's start cooking. These are the items that you're gonna need for the aloo gobi or the cauliflower with potatoes. I have four russet potatoes, which are right here. One Roma tomato, one jalapeno, one red onion, and one head of cauliflower. The potatoes, you can choose any kind you like, and the onions, you can choose between, between um, red or white, whichever one you prefer. This is what I used as a teaspoon measurement. It's not perfect, but this is what I used. Again, adjust all of these spices accordingly to your taste. Here are all the spices that you're going to be needing. There is one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala that you can get at any South Asian grocery store, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of the cumin seeds, one teaspoon of salt, and this is one teaspoon of the vegetable shan masala, which is right here. That's what it looks like. Everything, again, I will be putting in the description below. And this is called banh foran. I used one and a half teaspoon of that. This is what that looks like. It's five spices, five different seeds in there. Again, everything is in the description below, so you can check that out. And these are the spices. And of course, you're gonna be need, needing a one teaspoon of the ginger and garlic paste, which is right there. Here's the slow cooker that I will be using. And I'm going to spray this with a non-stick cooking spray. So nothing sticks on the bottom. So let's go ahead and spray that. I do it very generously so nothing will stick in here. Okay, now let's go and chop up the vegetables. Here's the cauliflower, it's all washed and cut up. You can see this is the size of the pieces that I have kept. You guys can do it to your own personal preference. You can make them smaller or you can leave them a lot bigger. Here are all the potatoes that I peeled and I cut them into this bite size pieces. They're a little bit bigger than bite size these are the size right here and let's add them to the crock pot along with the cauliflower here's my diced tomato and as far as the jalapeno is concerned I like my food spicy so I leave the seeds and the membranes in but if you guys want it a little bit less spicy you can take out all of these seeds and the membranes um, I've diced the tomatoes I've diced the jalapeno and I've diced the onions it almost looks like a salsa but it's not um, Keep in mind with the jalapenos, if you do decide to take out the seeds and the membranes, make sure you use gloves and not to touch your eyes or anything because they will burn. <laughs> so let's add these to the crock pot. Okay, you can see that I've already added the potatoes and the cauliflower. So now let's go ahead and add the tomatoes. Everything is all just dropping it in there. The hardest part is already over. We've already chopped up the vegetables and all the potatoes and the cauliflower. Now let's put the spices in it. We're gonna add all the spices. Again, I do have the entire recipe in the description below. And we are going to add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste right here. This is my measurement. That again, just dump in there. Before we mix it, we are gonna add maybe about six tablespoons of oil. You can see I'm just going around with it okay and now we will add about a cup of water in there here's the measurement for the cup of water i have half a cup so i'm going to put two of these there's one this was a half cup so i'm going to put two of these okay let's mix everything around in there make sure it's nicely mixed you guys can see that everything is mixed very properly so now let's put the lid on the slow cooker and get it going. Okay, I've plugged in my slow cooker. We're gonna select the low setting. You can see that lit up. And we're gonna set the timer for about four hours. So this is gonna cook on low for four hours. And in between, if you do have time, you can mix it. If not, it's gonna cook by itself. So it's all ready to go, guys. I will check back with you guys in about four hours and show you how it turns out. The aloo gobi has been cooking for about an hour and 15 minutes. 
So let's mix it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It will still cook, but I'm just gonna mix it around. Okay, and now we'll put the lid back on it. Still gonna cook for another about two hours and 45 minutes. The alu gobi only has about two minutes left. So let's go ahead and uncover it. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Perfect, perfect alu gobi. Look at that. You don't want to mix it too much because of all the cauliflower is going to break apart and it'll become mushy. I'm going to put a knife and just make sure all the potatoes are cooked. Yep, you can tell all these potatoes are cooked. I'm gonna garnish it with cilantro. I just garnished this with fresh cilantro. So this is how it looks. This looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try this in front of you guys. So let's go and give it a try. I am eating it with paratha, but you can eat it with chapati. Chapati and parathas are like wheat tortillas that could be found at your local South Asian grocery store. You could eat it with rice, you could eat it with pita bread, whatever you guys like. So this is what my plate looks like. So let's try it. Let's see how it tastes. I've eaten this plenty of times, so I know it's delicious. Here's the bite. Let's go ahead. Mmm. Excellent, excellent. Perfect for a beginner. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to give it a try and let me know in the comments below how it turns out. And remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself, and take care of yourself. Until next time, Enjoying my alu gobi. Bye, guys.